imagine sometimes that I am on a powerful and as yet undiscovered hallucinogen, one that dissolves the ego boundaries so effectively that subject and object fuse, so that were I to ingest this substance while visiting Watford, I would in some way pass into and become the town centre. It would be a multiplex, transtemporal experience, reducing me to a residue monad blabbing in a conflagration of men, women, and the billions of objects, large and small, that surround them and which define their business. I am bonded solidly into the sun-heated architrave of a multi-storey car park and then become the raw face of a shop assistant smoking a furtive fag in the accommodation road behind Truin's department store, March the 3rd, 1977. I see through the eyes of a young girl serving tea at Levenston Aerodrome, 1962, savour the pleasure of both parties enjoying a quick knee trembler at Odom's Printing Works, June 14th, 1965. Your story is one among many, as you surge through from Luton by bus for work at your tattoo parlour. It is 1995, and I am back from Poland, drunk on special brew at 7am, cutting through from Radlick to Colm, and along river parks to the ancillary margins of all this yeah, 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 and woo, woo, woo. I probably passed you at a bus stop or hair salon. I was well muttering by then. Torn by your Hertfordshire lives, your towers eerie across landscapes, your madness of A-roads and zooty careerists canoodling in cars by the River Vare at Frogmore. I call this experience Prakriti Leia, a yogic term derived from the ancient Indian Samkhya philosophy. Prakriti Leia is described in George Feuerstein's Encyclopedic Dictionary of Yoga as absorption into nature. Feuerstein then goes on to cite the Yoga Sutra's view that Prakriti Leia is a pseudo-liberation. If this is so, well, I don't care anyway. Being a topographer, I am fatally attached to this earth, and when I die, I will be bound here, destined to burn out with the planet at the end of its lifespan. To repeat, I don't care, do you? Rather this than some rationalist state of grace born of a conclusive map of the soul or some other arrogant construct. You can take your concern for spirituality and appropriacy and shove it up your ass, mister. I'm on my way out. I'm on my way in.